Hi guys, my name is Megan and today I've got my January TBR for you. All right, so my January TBR might be subject to change just because, you know, Christmas, my birthday are coming up, so it depends on what kind of books I get this year. Anyway, let's go ahead and just dive into like the giant TBR stack that I've got. This month I do plan to start reading a bunch more of ebooks. So the first one is Hatchling for Valentine's. This is the follow-up to A Swan for Christmas. Um, this is a non-traditional shapeshifter Omegaverse that I really, really enjoyed. Next up, I've got Heated Rivalries. This is the second book in the Game Changers uh, hockey romance series. As of filming this, I am currently reading the first one. I'm really, really enjoying it. So this one would be really nice to just pick up and keep going in uh, January. Next up, I've got Better Than People. This is uh, the first book in the Garnet Run series by Rowan Parrish. This one features dogs pretty heavily, I think. Um, and I, th I think this one has depression rep and maybe PTSD rep. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's been a while since I looked at the uh, synopsis. Um, I also have Barbarian Alien on this one, or on this TBR. Um, this is the second book in the Ice Planet Barbarian series. <laughs> I meant to read this in December, but I just never got around to it. I think this is Lacey and Rohash, Rohan. Rohash. I think that's their book. Um, it looks really interesting and, you know, might as well jump on the bandwagon <laughs> with the Ice Planet Barbarian stuff. Um, and then the last one I have is On the Ice. This is the first book in the, uh, on the Stick Side series, which is another hockey romance series. Um, other than that, I don't really know much about that one. Um, but that is it for my ebook TBR. So let's go ahead and dive into the other books that I'm planning to read this month and we'll see how we go this month. First up we have Fugitive Telemetry. Uh, this is book six in the Murderbot Diaries. This one I think is set before book five, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm really interested to see how this plays out into like the whole series. Um, and next up we have the first of two graphic novels that I'm planning to read this month. First up, we have Haikyuu Volume 1. This is the first volume in the Haikyuu series. My sister and I fell in love with the uh, first two seasons of the anime, and I figured, you know, might as well start picking these up because the artwork is just, just to die for. I, <laughs> I love it. Um, like, oh my god, I, I love these stupid boys so much and I just, I couldn't resist. Um, next up we have Eliza and her monsters. And I actually picked this one up at the little free library that's near my house. Um, so this follows Eliza Merck who is shy, weird, and kind of friendless, but online she has a thriving web comic and, and she really doesn't want to try to, you know, have friends in real life when she's got all these amazing friends online. And this also follows Wallace Worland, who is this webcomic's biggest fan. He writes fan fiction for it. And, you know, he transfers to uh, Eliza's school. And, you know, he thinks Eliza's just another fan. And, you know, he tries to start drawing her out of her shell. And then, you know, Eliza's secret is accidentally shared with the world. And then things happen. Um, this one I know has a lot of... I think this one has depression rep in it as well. But... This one looks really interesting and it's been on my radar for a while, so I'm really here for it. Okay, next up is the second of my graphic novels for this month, which is Squad. This is actually one that I also picked up at my little free library. And this is an ARC copy, which I know this book is out now, but this one is really interesting. It's both in color and uh, black and white. This follows a girl gang of girl werewolves and they kind of go after boys that are doing really bad things to people and it just sounds really interesting. And then the last book that I'm hoping to get to is The Inquisition. This is the Summoner book two. So I really enjoyed reading The Summoner. I think it was early this year or maybe it was last year. Oh, it has been a while. I think it's been, it's been a while since I read the first one, but I'm really excited to dive into this book. Uh, so this follows Fletcher and Ignatius, who have been locked away in a dungeon for a crime that he may not have committed. I don't remember if he committed this, and I just, mm, I'm here for it, and yeah. Hopefully this is one that I get to by the end of January, but things may change, so we'll see how this one goes. All right, so those are all of the books that I plan to read in January for now, but like I said, we'll see. Um, what are you guys planning to read this month? Let me know down below. 
And if you guys like this video, don't forget the like button. If you haven't already but would like to, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to follow me on social media for more bookish stuff, check out the links down below. Alrighty, bye guys.